Hello YouTube, Fred Bergeron here from Inaxis Security Systems. In today's video, I want to show you how to enable the keypad portion of this TSEC reader here that I have on, on my uh, training kit, okay? It's very easy, it's gonna be a very short video, but you know, I, I find it's quite useful. You know, we get a lot of calls and tech support asking us, you know, oh, I've programmed my door for a card and pin, but it's still not asking for the pin or, you know, something like that. So let's, uh, let's have a look at the uh, WX interface and then I will show you how this is done. All right, so from the home page, um, the first thing you want to check, obviously, before you can use the pin on the door, you have to make sure the user has a pin, okay? Um, so it's a combination of that, plus obviously having access to the door in the door group or the list of doors assigned to the access level, okay? So if I select my user, I see I have a pin. So that, that's the first piece, okay? Second, it's to go under the door section. I'm gonna select door one, all right? You see the default door type is card only, so now I have two options. I can use card or pin, okay? Or uh, card and pin. In this case, I want to use card and pin. So I need to badge my card, punch in my pin, and then press enter to unlock the door. So I'm gonna set this to card and pin, and save. Now, the next step will vary a little bit, depending on if you're using ICT-485 communication for the readers or Wigan, okay? So just to show you the difference, if I switch this port to Wigan, okay, so let's look at port one. So you see, I don't need to select the, the format for the keypad of the TSEC because, because it's RS-45, ICT for RS-45, we know that by default, the, this uh, reader and keypad, the TSEC reader and keypad, has uh, ARK-501 as the default format for the pin um, access, okay? But if I go to a reader port uh, program as Wigan, You'll see here that there's a drop-down menu for different uh, formats, you know, for the for the keypad piece. Obviously, ICT by default is ARK501, which allows up to eight digits for the pin number. Okay, so I'm gonna stick that. Okay, but in a case like this where both my readers are set for I ICT485, then I don't need to worry about choosing a format for the pin. It's already pre-programmed for you. Okay, now if I'm gonna if I save this. Looks like this, I'm gonna put it back to, sorry, ICT-45 and, and, and no, not delete, save. Okay, so now I'm back to normal, but I changed my door to card and pin. So if I show you the events, if I badge my card and wait, you see it's not unlocking the door right away, it says waiting for pin. So I enter and press enter. So my pin, enter. Again, the pin can be anywhere from one to eight digits, all right? Um, and that's depending on the users, okay? We recommend at least four digits, obviously. Um, maybe some customers will want more, um, you know, to make it more secure, all right? So again, it's badger card, and I think you have about maybe eight to 10 seconds to enter the pin, okay? Otherwise, it's gonna time out, and then you have to badge again, and then punch in the correct pin, okay? So um, you see, it's very easy. Um, th so this was how to basically change a door from card only to card and pin. You also have the option for card or pin, so you can enter with either or. And also, um, and you know, there's another way, and that's, it, that's covered in the um, GX level one training. You can make it so, let's say when the system is armed, it's gonna ask for the card and the pin, and then when the system is disarmed, it will ask for the card only, or the card or the pin. Uh, it, we can basically switch between these modes by using a schedule and qualify outputs, okay? So that again, this is covered in the level one training, um, and, and if you're interested in knowing how this is done, you just let us know and we can uh, create the tutorial for this as well in a future video, okay? So again, thanks for watching. Um, it's Fred Bergeron from Inaccess. Remember, Inaccess is the Canadian distributor for ICT products. Um, we have a whole team of salespeople all across Canada and a good team of tech support in Montreal that are ready to help you with any questions you may have. Visit the Inaccess.com website and send us a request and we'll answer quickly, all right? Thanks for watching. Thank you.